So you made several pieces, and uh, so there, there were people and different kinds of animals, right? Is that right? So in that process, I mean, of course, you were learning more, and you were getting more experience with working with the material. Um, what pieces do you think you had the most success with? My person. Your person? That's the first piece Dave. too. Dave. Yeah. Dave? <laughs> okay. Yeah, the first person, because that's the that was the first piece too. I was surprised that it came out that um, that came out that successful. Because yeah. okay. I didn't think it would be as good as it turned out. And why do you think it was so successful? <laughs> um I say because um I actually had the lady work with me in I don't know. Yeah, I just had her work with me, and then we both like worked together on it. Okay. And, and I just was looking at other people's sculptures and, and that's getting how I ideas. That's I got my inspiration. I got my. I just looked at whoever was doing good, also, and it's like, hmm, that's a good idea. So I started doing that in my ideas. Then it became all the way I wanted it to. Okay. Trying to make a stand, but the legs were just aggravating me. So I'm like, you know, don't want the legs. I'll move on. <laughs> I heard that a couple times from you guys. You just went with the flow of it, and it kind of just I didn't think of it that I didn't think of me making it. I just thought mm -hmm. of me stuff in my head while I was making it. Just felt it, and it was just not a real thing. Just keep going. At first, I wanted to make it like a fish, but mine's turned into a bird. This not mine, but it's at the house. Mm -hmm. But it what, it turned into a bird. But the bird came out successful. Because I had to make two wings, like two sets of wings, mm -hmm. and then put them onto each other. Okay. And then just wrap it on like it was a backpack. Right. So what what changed it from being a fish into a bird? What what was that point where the the wings? Okay. Because I tried to make the fins, uh -huh. but then they turned into wings. Fish. Oh, the fish. That's right. The one yeah. over there. Oh, fish. Or is is it that one of the ones that's hanging up now? Yeah. Oh, okay. I wasn't going to take that one. So what was it like making that fish? It was kind of hard. You had to wrap it some type of way. It was really hard. And it was more flat, right? Yeah, yeah it was flatter too. So you had to, you couldn't like, tighten it so tight. Cause it was, um... So like when he first saw his piece, he broke some pieces off of it and then it kind of formed by itself. So then he just started making it tighter and formed his own thing that he wanted. Okay. And I had something that was like big and then it became small like a dolphin. So okay. I had to restart. I didn't make it look like one. I had to take all the pieces and redo it. Redo it so you still ended up with a dolphin? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's great. So, um, why, what was it about the first one? You, you felt that it was just too big or that? It wasn't going to the right shape it was supposed to go, okay. so I had to redo it. Okay. Did you just start from scratch again, or did you kind of... I kind of took it apart a little bit. And reworked it? Okay. It was fun. Yeah, it was, an, it was fun, inspiring, and it makes me want to do more stuff like that. And just like the way you guys were saying, like, how to recycle stuff like that, I'm pretty sure it was recycled. And like, and the lady, like, well, she was like putting stuff that she found outside onto the thing. That was pretty cool. And like Glenn had a box over his dog, it was like a dog house. And yeah, my mom and her job like really works like as that and I just don't feel like going over that much. I feel like me going there, I can like take ideas from this and just do it out there and show off. So it inspired me. It inspired me from, you know, math class earlier. <coughs> so I'll put it there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So that's the only time I've ever been.